This is Lakshman Gugloth, uh, CEO with BAC SME Exchange. We are about to uh, launch uh, BAC SME Exchange. We already got the approvals from the regulators. See, all of us know that uh, SMEs are generally more depending on uh, banks and uh, collateral based lendings and uh, rising of equity new for them. And all of us know that uh, their uh, SMEs are not much aware about uh, capital market issues. And it is very important that uh, we create awareness uh, among the SMEs about uh, equity capital and how to rise the equity capital through BAC SME exchange. In this contest, I would like to uh, tell more in brief about uh, what uh, I mean, the differences between debt and equity is and, you know, and uh, what uh, the SME entrepreneurs need to understand about the equity capital. Generally, uh, any enterprise is started by a couple of individuals. Uh, they pull whatever they can best and sometime and then as they grow, they leverage uh, their goodwill in the surroundings to raise more capital. And after some time, uh, you can go to uh, banks and NBFCs to raise the debt capital. And whatever collaterals they can give, they generally put the collaterals and raise the debt from the banks. And uh, they stretch it uh, uh, quite a bit from time to time, to, uh, but you know, beyond a point, it's not possible to stress the debt capital. Then what next? For any SME entrepreneur who has a big vision, who wants to grow into a big uh, company, what next for him once he exhausts his debt options? They have only one option. There is no other option, there is only one option uh, that is to come to the capital markets. Except capital market, there is no other option uh, which you can leverage beyond a point after the debt. And, uh, and all the uh, particularly small and medium enterprises who have exhausted their debt options, uh, they have only alternative ways to come to the SME exchange run to capital markets and uh, preferably to the SME exchanges. And one more thing the SME entrepreneurs should understand is every industry requires a certain uh, debt and equity ratios for healthier balance sheet of the companies. And uh, all of us know that let us say you have a debt X, then you need a proportionately according to the industry ratio, I mean equally, I mean proportionately uh, equity capital also, so that you know your debt and equity ratios are on par with the industry. So if you have more debt, uh, then you need more equity capital. If you have more equity capital, you have to need some more debt, more debt to you know, match the ratios. So the debt and equity is required in various, I mean in proportion, in proportions according to the industry debt equity ratios. So uh, what I would like to say is, Debt and equity both are complementary because you need both of them proportionately. Many people do not understand uh, the difference between why they need debt, why they need equity. Any industry considering the various constraints that are available and the growth prospects and all that generally a certain level of debt equity ratios are desirable. And these ratios can be maintained only uh, when you come to capital markets and raise the equity capital and raise this equity capital through the exchanges. And other important thing is uh, generally bank provide, banks and NBFCs provide the debt and uh, through exchange you can raise the equity and uh, this will help the SME entrepreneurs I mean, to maintain uh, their what you call financial financials of the SMEs and their balance sheet much much healthier. And other very important thing uh, one need to understand any uh, other very important aspect one need to understand the difference between the debt and equity is generally SME enterprises or any industry requires a long term capital. All of us know that the gestation period for the any enterprise is generally long, very long, maybe five to seven years, some of our some industry it will be ten years. And uh, these uh, entrepreneurs they require generally medium to long term capital and generally long term. I would not say even medium term, it is very long term capital that is required. 
could be 10 years, could be 15 years and some of the companies generally saw over a period of long period of maybe 20 years.